welcome back to my channel. This is Brunette Wig Place and I'm Lisa. I am so glad that you are here today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and you will get a notification every time I post a new wig related video or hair loss chat or something of that nature. So today I am wearing a wig that was sent to me by the wig company. This particular wig is called New Vibrant and the color on her is Cocoa Bean which is also eight slash 12 with a number six root. So this is one of their rooted brunettes. So this is a basic cap wig. She has no monofilament features at all, no lace front, no lace part, monotop, anything like that. So her price point is actually really, really good. She is uh, priced currently, as I'm making this video today, at $69. So really, really good. And if you are looking for a medium length, curly girl, this might be the wig for you. Now she came parted more kind of in the middle, but I moved the part over to the left-hand side. So this is this was my initial reaction when I took her out of the box. I was um, kind of wondering what I was gonna do with her. She, was a, she has a lot of permatees in her. And if you know me, you know that I am more of a low density style person, but these wig reviews are not for me, they are for you. So I am willing to show you these styles even though they might be a little out of my comfort zone and not necessarily something, you know, that I would particularly wear a lot, but you know, they are a style for, for somebody out there. So, and it's a pretty wig, the fibers are really nice. It's got curly, 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 wavy, wavy, wavy. Not so much up here on the top, although it does have volume, you know, you can get I have the permatees pushed down because like I said, I'm not a real big volume, but as you can see, this can be your hire the hair closer to God wig if that's what you want. In fact, it honestly reminds me of Dolly's hair. If it was blonde, I would be like, okay, I'm Dolly Parton. But um, you know, it very much is a, you know, can be a very voluminous style if you want it to be, but if you want to just be a little more conservative with it, like I would like to be, you can push it down and, you know, calm it down a little bit. But very, very pretty curly style. So let me do a turn so you can see it all the way around. So here's the front. My right side. I mean, she is just curly. Lots of volume in this girl. The back. My left side. And then back to the front. So. I have never had curly hair on my own. So whenever I put on a curly wig, I don't really know what to do with curly hair. I have to be honest, you know, curly hair is just not something, I had straight as a board, thin, fine hair when I had still had my hair. So, um, you know, this is fun hair. There's a lot of it. There's a lot you can do with it. I mean, I imagine you can style it in all kinds of different ways. You know, you just have to understand that it is just a basic cap, so you don't have a lace front. It would be great if it maybe had a little lace front on it. I like it when there's a lace front on a basic cap wig, but this one does not have that, so that's okay. So anyway, um, but she's got a lot of layers and, you know, like I said, all these curls. And I've been, I have tamed the curls down a little bit just to soften them a little bit. But if you like like ringlety curls, that's kind of how, she, you know, more like the way it looks in the back. That's, that's how she comes. Um, so, you know, she's got a lot of curl to her. So as far as her measurements are concerned, she is six and a quarter here in the front. And she definitely has, I think that this bang, there's a shorter layer, I think, than six and a quarter there, but uh, they don't give a measurement on the website for that one. But you could definitely, put a bang in her if you like a bang, you know, to have the forehead coverage and that would, you know, change the look, you know, a little bit even more. So, um, and then she's got a nine and a half inch layer from the top. She's got 10 inch sides and a 10 inch back and she is 10 inches long from the nape. So, you know, you can see she's got some length uh, back there in the back. So hopefully you can see that when I, when I turned around. Um, but anyway, so she's got a lot of different measurements, lots of different layers. Um, as you know, so here is that, she does not have a lace front. So there's what that front looks like. Here's that top, and I'll show you that more outside so you can see the permatees better. But it's, the layers are hiding the permatees pretty well, but she just does have a lot of lift up here. So that's just something to keep in mind. But if you have, you know, if you had curly hair and 
you're used to that lift, then I, you know, she's a great wig for that. So <clears throat> her ear tabs are, I'm finding them to be a bit flimsy, but um, you know, they're staying in place fairly well, but for like pulling her off the face, I noticed that they want to pull up. So just something to note, you know, about this particular style. This one is from their basics collection too. I didn't, I forgot to show you all the box, but um, <clears throat> excuse me, they have a statements collection. They have their fashion, what's the other one called? Fashion Club, Fashion Club Designs, and then this is the basic collection. So they have several house brands. So really cute. So that's their, that's the ear tabs and everything. Okay, so as far as this color, this color, like I said, is called Cocoa Bean. It is eight, it's an eight and a 12 blended with a six root. So you could probably see that rooting. Really pretty brunette, and I'm happy the fibers are not shiny. I didn't feel like I needed to, you know, spray it with um, dry shampoo or anything. So make sure I'm not getting a glare there. Really pretty, and we will take her outside so we can see the color outside as well. So, but just really cute. So let me pop her off and we'll look at the inside of her cap. Okay, so open wefting. She's even got some open, this is lace here, but she has wefting underneath this lace. So they consider this particular cap to be what they call capless. Um, and that just allows for, you can see that weft, the little wefts up here, and those same wefts are under this lace. I think you can see it if I get really close. See those wefts, those lines going across there? They put, you know, some, some light lace there just to cover those, I think just for comfort on top of your head. But you can see that she's wefted all through there. So you've got, you know, breathability all through that cap. And then open wefting all throughout. She has an extended nape that is the soft uh, velvety, you know, felt material. She has, uh, her ear tabs are lace. Again, I think that is for the breathability. And then open wefting all through the cap. She does have Velcro adjusters, which are really great. This, this particular cap is definitely average plus because it's a little bit um, big on me. So, so I would need to wear a wig grip, you know, with her to wear her. So, but really, really comfortable cap. And then she's also got a, like a soft felt here across that lays on your forehead. So you really don't, I mean, she's super comfortable. You really don't feel it, but see what I mean? I put her back on and that girl's got volume. I mean, she's not kidding around with the volume. <laughs> so, okay, let's take her outside and we will look at this color outside in the natural. Okay, so I am outside with this new vibrant wig in the color Cocoa Bean, which is 812 with a six root. So you should be able to see that rooting. And you can also get a better look at that permatease out here. I like to show you that permatease so you can, you know, make a decision whether or not that's a deal breaker for you. Let's see the curls. She's a curly one. Okay, and we will take this color out here in the light. We're kind of overcast today with a little bit of sun peeking through, but so you can see that rooting and you can see where that permatease is. You can move that part, you know, either wherever you want it. I was able to move it to the left side. Okay, let's take her back inside. Okay, so we are back inside with this new vibrant wig from the wig company in the color Cocoa Bean. So as you could see, I hope you could see that rooting out there and um, get a good look at that permatease because permatease is a big factor in this wig and I want that to be understood, you know, so that you can make an informed purchase. Um, you know, it's, it's natural with the volume of the curls and everything. I don't think that it's too much permatease. And it certainly doesn't seem to like be sticking out everywhere. I have seen wigs from actually more expensive brands where the permatease was like sticking up in little pieces like this. And I'm not seeing that. You have to get really close to be able to see it. So, you know, but if you are someone who has the frame and, you know, for, and likes this much hair, then I don't think the volume on this wig is going to bother you. I just think with, my face and my frame 
it just feels like a little much for me in particular. So, you know, I just want to note that to you all, you know, just so you understand kind of how I'm feeling about it versus you may not feel the same way. So as far as styling, you know, even though she doesn't have a lace front, I think you could still stick, you know, a cute little clip over here, like to the side, but just keep some hair over, you know, covering where you don't have that lace front. And I think she looks really cute. You could put two, actually. You could put, you know, one on either side. And then if you wanted to part it in the middle, however you wanted to do it, you know. Um, I would not pull her back, you know, like in a bump because she doesn't have that lace front. And you can also pull back just the sides but on me, the hair is gonna be kind of over the ear when I do that, which is not a big deal. It doesn't bother me any, you know? And like for my face, that actually kind of <laughs> tones her down a little bit for me. But, and then you can kind of pull that, you know, that layer, that front layer out a little bit and just let it kind of fall around your face. And that looks cute. And then she's also, you know, you could put her into a low pony and put a scarf on or something like that. She would be cute like that. I have a headband here. Um, you know, so you could stick a headband in her. This is a great way to disguise that primitive if it bothers you and also just, just kind of bring down her volume a little bit. Um, I don't think that I would go, let's see what she does. I guess you could put, you could pull it back with the headband but I, it's, a, it, it's a little bulky here, I'm gonna be honest. Whenever I pull it back like that, it's a little bulky right there. But you know, you just have to play around with it and see, these headbands are great. These are cheap, I get these from Amazon and I think I got a dozen of them for 10 bucks or something. So, you know, they're just great. They're covered with like a satiny material and they work great with wigs. It's really easy to, you know, pull the wig out of the way with. So, so anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed this review and have a thorough understanding of this new vibrant wig now from the wig company. So I just want to thank them again for sending me this to review for you all. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.